Hello Elvenar fans! Today we have the honor to introduce you to the newest major feature coming to Elvenar, the Cauldron. Your very own way to brew potions with magical ingredients, trigger powerful effects and discover yet unsee magic coming right from the Magic Academy's hidden source. Before we choose our first ingredient and see what happens, please subscribe to this channel to never miss any content. To access a brand new magical source in the game and unlock a new tab inside your Magic Academy, you need to research a new technology in Chapter 5. The Cauldron features a similar pattern we already know from the Spire of Eternity and tournaments, meaning it's a weekly event that starts on Sunday and runs until Friday, when all progress is reset and you get a chance to create effects and brew some amazing potions again. When the event starts on Sunday, you are given a certain amount of Witch Points, which are based on the total number of your unlocked technologies and trophy goblets depending on last week's tournament's performance. Witch Points are needed to add ingredients to your potion, and trophy goblets are needed to drink from your potion once it's brewed. Both the unspent Witch Points and the trophy goblets cannot be transferred to the next week, so be careful to use them all up before the sorceress leaves the Magic Academy. Ingredients are what increases the chance of triggering a potion effect, so make sure you find the best combination to use. You can follow the potion forecast at any time during the brewing process. There are 12 ingredients in total that can be added to your potion. Every time you add an ingredient, the number of witch points required to brew your potion rises respectively, and so grows the overall cost of your ingredients. Each week the sorceress finds 8 random ingredients in the forest that you will be able to add to your potions using your witch points. If your favorite potion recipe requires one of the missing ingredients, you may purchase them with diamonds. These premium ingredients will be the same for all players on your server. So many strategic ideas can be exchanged with your fellows about what to brew during a current week. Now, the scent is getting great and the potential of magic reaches an unprecedented level but it's still missing a pinch of raw magical power. The cauldron comes with a new use of your spell fragments. Each potion you are about to brew can be enhanced by adding spell fragments that increase the potential outcome of your potion effect. They can increase the maximum duration and strength and even add a chance for a critical effect, which we will be talking about in a bit. Once your ingredients are set and you have added some spell fragments according to your wish, you can start the brewing process. That's the point where all your current effects get calculated. Every effect that is triggered by the potion has a randomly chosen strength and duration, depending on your maximum value for this effect type and the amount of ingredients used to brew. The more ingredients you use, the closer your effect will be to the maximum values. You may get lucky and even hit the critical effect chance, which will give you the maximum strength and extended duration. For every trophy goblet used, your potion has a chance to trigger an effect. Every time the cauldron effect starts, you receive one trophy goblet for free. As we said before, additional goblets can be earned depending on your last week's tournament performance. Every time you reach a certain threshold of tournament points, you receive another trophy goblet. The thresholds are 200, 600, 1200 and 2000 tournament points. This means up to 4 additional goblets. You receive your multiplayer rewards together with your fellowship which is Saturday, the time when your sorceress gathers fresh mushrooms and herbs in the surrounding forest to prepare for a new round. The cauldron introduces a whole range of effects for your city. Every time all technologies of a chapter are unlocked, you receive a research diploma that unlocks a new effect. The research diploma will also reduce your donation costs, more about that in a second. Your sorceress is tirelessly studying and improving her skills inside the Magic Academy, after the potion is brewed, the sorceress returns to her study room, where you can use your witch points to level up her skills for the already unlocked potion effects. Each level up increases the maximum strength and duration for the selected effect, so that you can brew even more powerful potions in the future. To help the sorceress with her studies, you can donate resources to the Magic Academy, such as coins and standard goods. This will add further witch points you can use to level up your favorite effects. Don't forget that unused witch points are lost once the sorceress leaves the academy, so always spend them right away. We hope you love Elvenar's brand new cauldron as much as we do. As always, let us know what you think in the comment section below and join our official Facebook group to discuss with your fellow players and friends. Have a lot of fun creating and sharing your very own magical potion recipes and see you in the game!